So, good amount of info in terms of this. That's going to help, but let's see how important the knife is as well. And then we'll kind of see if, um, three James, kind of see how the Astra and the Brim differ in terms of what we see as well. Double Cypher. In a single elimination tournament, calling is everything. He struggled on Icebox. Let's see what his adaptations look like on Fracture. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because if Liquid loses this, they are out and they can't do that. I need to see that Pansy tattoo. It's true. They do void. They do if they want to bring it out. <laughs> I'll have none of this. I'll have absolutely none of this behavior. It's my first uh, time casting. Yeah. I'm not really going to go for the go bully easy. aspect. You yeah, know, yeah. So, you know, tiptoe easy. into it. So swearing on the desk almost. The audacity to kind of try and aim up here. All right. Well, anyway. Too much time around Bren. That's very true. We do need to focus up on the game, though. We do need to look at what's in front of us now. Cypher Mania. Different from, I think, what a lot of people expected. Chat, when was the, the last time we saw Nuts on Cypher? Accounts, Team Secret looked very solid. It, a little, it took a little time to close out in the end, but they got there. It was job done. That first half was gorgeous. This, however, is Liquid's map choice, so we should see the best version possible. And I'd love to see how Secret Damn, now... That's crazy. Okay, Team Secret on defense, Liquid on attack. In terms of the pistol, we got some frenzies, so, double frenzy. No frenzies for Liquid. Nicely. Oh boy. Okay. Knife goes in heaven. Over the top. Early knife out that hits over towards A. And as we can see, they are going over towards the Brim. Brim must yes. have a backup shorty or something, right? Of, uh, Where are we? Oh no, he has a frenzy. Okay, it's not too bad. Brim's going to get overwhelmed here, but does have a frenzy in heaven. Nice overwhelm. Kind of did the perfect pistol, to be honest here, Liquid. They managed to get a frenzy out as well. Let's see what Soulcast can do. How on earth is Jampy gone down? Okay, one for one. A little bit worried. Nade is still available. Double arcade and one pass in heaven. Oh, insta decision to go on the ground. That's kind of nice. Are they going to hear this? So this Probably play. not on that. Up play, but they still need to hold on to the site itself. Nats gets warded away. Safe's now fallen and out. Half on the spike. They got it towards halfway. Oh boy, it's all up to Nats. The safest pair of hands in the game, but has two players on the other side. Dubstep and Envy, two highlights from map one. They are tagged low, but they're oh stick boy, the okay. Dubstep's got the covering fire. Team Secret managed to win. Pistol as well. Liquid looks in an okay position, but yeah. I guess Yampi got spammed through smoke. Envy starting off. A side of a map with some nice kills coming through. It's going to help fast track towards that rolling thunder, which is ever so important on you know every map. We we'll have to see how the playing, kill came down on site, really. Fracture. Oh, there was a trip we'll still on site. Oh, nice. Not sure which way to look. And then that jaw was really important as well. That late rotate, just perfectly red. I honestly, think it was heard from the side of dubstep through that underpass. Okay, frenzies went out that one. Knife stun to take over. So knife hits, then you stun reactively. We like that. Uh oh, throw an Astra suck there as well. So heavy takeover towards Dish in terms of what we got here. We got a few sheriffs, and then I take it Red Guard was stacking the orbs as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's see how many orbs Red Guard can get. The old DRX strategy: just feed the breach the orbs. Get the Rolling Thunder every third round. Utilize it, win the round. Okay. That's, That's five. One. One. Maybe the Arcade one is free as well. Leaving Envy in the dust. Good reads though coming out. I mean, th there's not been too much secrecy or subtlety to this, but there's been no active challenge from Secret. So they do have the three players here. Yes, still isolated one towards the tower. Okay, with the head on top of this as well, so how can they deal with this? Nice shot, Yampi. That's a wide swing. There was a stun behind it. Ooh, that was nice. That was really nice. The actual tag of the running back secured the kill there. Yeah, supports on the way as well. Oh, what a cheeky little haunt. Yeah, some nasty haunt so far. Yampi. Damage. And the swing. Nice, but not nice enough to be able to. Transfer Good damage, at least done from Yumpy. Regar kind of a one in one. Doesn't get a kill. So he's. Chat, I wasn't fully keeping track. Is he. He's now one away from his ult? One or two. Let's see for sure. Okay, he's one away from his ult. So going to an important by round in terms of liquid. They do have an ult if they get one. Um, if they get one ult. Dubstep. Looking very clean so far with the 4-0, leading the charge for the team. 
Good bonus going out from Team Secret. Three guns. In terms of Spectres, two ghosts. Five person start at the bottom, and again, kind of need to just make sure that they can get Regar a orb into this one. Yeah, they're expecting this pressure here, so they just slowly creep up, get the prowl around the corner, send the boom bot. They're not wide swinging out. Okay, do they stun nade off the boom bot or not? No. Oh, okay, they used to stun into this already, so. A lot of util used over towards here. Heavy shutdown in terms of Team Secret. Three people. Dude, Brim playing on the own with the Cypher. It's weird to see. Uh, I kind of like this setup. I guess level footing towards this B site, right? This should be the best attempt that they've had yet. They absolutely have better weaponry, so this should oh, be Oh, that's the... Oh, that I was talking is. about. There nice is. util coming down. Yeah, I can't really go out. It was a great oh, molly. Great yeah, great molly. This is looking pretty rough. They could decide to call cancel on this. Keep an eye on the raise if they do decide to cancel it. Raise has pushed up all the way. Has had the camera. Right up against the staircase. Nats Let's go from Nats. Envy dead as well. Man advantage here for TL, but still. What is the timing like for this raise? Really wanting, uh, Raze is really wanting Nats to go down. Okay, Raze has been seen, I'm pretty sure. Big run and gun. Uh oh. Okay, Nats still on site. Nats gets a kill against his ult, but doesn't really matter too much. Upgrade here for the raise. Dude, massive round from Nats. This might be a little bit too expensive for Liquid, though. Let's see. Great round from Nats, well done. Huge round. Put him back on Cypher, see what happens. Okay, nice. 2 1. Problem for Liquid is Nats has to rebuy armor and three people died. So this was a full bonus, really. So this is an important swing round that we're going to see. And in terms of, uh, yeah, we might have some light armors or some lower guns for Liquid. This run and gun, the run and gun is crazy. It's how you have to play it, though. The side of Secret a bit. Just had Borkum out on an island, 9 HP, sat inside of a smoke, desperately hugging on the life, and Nats just steals it away from him without a second thought. For now, okay, so they managed to... Hey, it's not too bad. Side, just two light armors, Redguard doesn't have uh, damage. Oh boy. So when they went out the first duel, knife... The did the knife hit the ult? No. Do they get? Yeah, nothing found off the back of it, but they take so much so, space. So, yeah, it's a nice push from Team Secret. This is a big question mark now. Do Liquid decide to try and go back and clear this? Got a bit of a cipher off in terms of underpass. Okay, so because they've seen the cipher camera, they're probably going to think it's a 1-4, because that's how most teams play cipher. So they might try and just walk up a bit close over towards me. They've broken up a trip as well. Oh boy. Okay, so they create pressure breaking the trip in the camera. I'm hoping that it creates a rotate and now going back to A. Breach still has a stun? Yeah, Breach has a stun up. What's the first point of contact? Oh, this could be so brutal for Liquid. First place crossed, low ahead, red car. Oh my oh. word, Jeremy sends it packing. Red Such a nice tonight. shutdown. No then they can kind of just spam the Uto here. Does Breach have anything else? Can try to push in. Yeah, Breach has everything. Down with a nasty headshot from the side a of Jeremy. real nice setup from Team Secret. Now it's just going to be safe. Up to his own devices. 20 seconds remaining. 1500 in the bank. The Phantom in hand, can he yeah, they, they used too much util, right? They had a Teva nade combo with the stun behind, no one could kind of follow up behind Red Guy. Watching it. Ten seconds left. Heels up on the desk, staring at the cam. It's going to be a save in the end. The I don't know what the hell got into Yampi there. What space did he think he had? Because even in these last couple of rounds, we've seen Jeremy and Jesse Bash rolling that utility early on. We saw that little trade out in the round just prior in the bonus. And this time he thought he'd um, get, get in there. Huge head round, Team Secret. They keep a lot of people alive as well, so that's great for their economy. In terms of Liquid going into this round, looks like we're going to have one hero. Dude, the util is great here. They're very heavy shutting down A main, like both of these rounds at the moment, so we'll keep an eye on that. They wanted to fight Dish at the beginning of their pistol. Um, and yeah, dude, they're doing, Team Secret are doing great at the moment, but at the moment they fought Dish on their pistol and they fought Dish on their uh, anti-eco. So. Um, it, it just feels like they just punish this in terms of buys, and then they show presence Dish and trying to keep it, they're trying to keep it like a, 
kind of trying to keep you guessing, but actually it's the whole my three take was nice. Bit like Yampi, low HP for this. Oh dear, the blast pack will do nothing yeah, in this. good at the moment. No nope, secret. This is I, I like them being proactive though. What a switch up here. A little bit of a test of the pace here. A couple of times they've been seeing them take dish control, try and farm these orbs exactly. up. Exactly. They read that perfectly, and now they have the spike in their hands. And yeah, the uh, the satchel we'll the definitely didn't help. Not gonna lie, to you, chat. Up. Still only a specter. Yeah, not ideal. High flash, swing. Oh, Should have noticed. Yeah, notes Jesse Bash. Need That's a counter swing. Flash goes out. They need something more than that. This is just oh. brutality from Secret. Mm, and it's clean. Okay, one All kill standing. going in. This is lovely work from them. Three the people have to rebuy armor. One kill, 3,000 3, on top of all of this. The yep. Do we see bench. a pause this early or do we give them one more buy round? They just up the pace. They know that they've been trying to get ready. Yeah, as soon as they saw the stun, <laughs> Yumpy satcheled and just wrecked Redgar. So they say, Script, we're going to up the pace, go pushing over a dish. They find the two kills. Yumpy just hiding in the corner, can't do a damn thing. And it looks so very clean. The yeah, covering util is very on point right now for Secret. A little bit late there for Liquid. They try to get that concussion out to get the stun on Jesse Bash, but it's just seconds too late. Insta knife. He has been the target. Full buy for Liquid. No one has anything has over 300 to well, 400, so massive fights. rounds. They kind of have to win this one to at least get some momentum. In terms of ults into this round, though, Fade has ult and Yampi has ult. Obviously, both the Cyphers do, but in terms of big impact for it, uh, Cypher ult's more situational, so I don't talk about it as much. Again, I kind of love this setup, right? The three person over towards here. This time, in instead of uh, fighting. Heavy, the they're deciding to kind of leave this and save all their util. So I'm liking this a lot from Team Secret. And again, I like this setup over towards over towards B. Big rotate going in as well. So they have fast rotate going in for here. Just playing full retake of A. It must be something that they do with like uh, their fade or potentially. And again, they fought heavy so much here that most likely they're going to use a lot of util to go take A main. They read this well. Razor goes in. They managed to clear everything. Uh, and again, they get the plant, but I'm still impressed with Team Secret. We go for a fast retake with this ult. Only three on site. Good work, well. As it stands, good initial work. They should know where these players at least reside. Good start as well from Envy, finding Redgar, removing him from the site, but a 3v3. Spike now down, and Nat's back in tower. You know he's a specialist at this. Whole side of this arcade approach is completely under wraps, but Secret straight through the site, right up the gut. Safe is the first one as the check on this. They're running through the utility. Oh. They still have to swing by. Yes. Both so kills they here. It, so they know exactly where Nats is at. This is not going to surprise them whatsoever. Holy hell, Jesse what a round from Jesse. And Team Secret have they get absolutely wrecked at the moment. Now on this starting side. And once again, Liquid kicked back economically. Nicely done from Team Secret, leaving uh, leaving the site and playing full retake. It was a nice call from them. Early instant retake as well. Just three people isolated. Good smokes up from them. So I loved everything. But yeah, kind of... Even the Maybe they weren't expecting the push there. Bash, wondrous performance in that as well. Wow, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with Seeker. I thought map one, hey, it's their map choice. Put that in context. You know, it looked good. First half, fantastic. Yeah, this is a worrying thing. Here, this is Liquid's choice, and Secret still look way up to scratch. They look fantastic. Okay, rough timeout because uh, let's think. They have 2,900 in terms of the loss bonus. They got a plan as well. So like. Roughly 3,000, 200, 3,300 with some of the kills. So not great in terms of this run. Going to have a low buy. About all the Pacific teams, but this is looking a lot like we saw from the likes of Talon. The protocols are there. The communication is clear. Everything is so smooth. These little micro plays, the adjustments that they're doing to just be able to support each other, to allow for an entry, allow for an exit, to make sure that that pinch... Yeah, their, their the utils great the at the moment in terms of Team Secret. I love their approaches to a lot of this as well. They have such they have such good plans every single time going into these rounds. Like, they have really good plans. Like, they'll create pressure here, um, and then the next round they're just fully leaving it. Like, they feel like they're heavy shut down here, so the next time they'll just leave it. On their Ecos, they were shutting down Dish, and then now... Dude, I, I, love, I love what they're doing. They're changing so much. Not quite there yet, at least so far. By this round, we'll be really into the thick of it. But this timeout coming forward won't be really for this round. It'll be the one to follow it. A couple of alts to play. Himmy, what's up? Himmy, Trav. Prowler goes out. It's a good amount of info. Two people shot it. Knife goes in. Looks like they're going much faster. Knife didn't hit the Cypher. So, looks like they're doing a bit of an anti 
KO setup. Expecting KO maybe to get an orb just in case. So you might see the same defensive setup uh, next round as well. Okay, they get over towards the site. They don't have the guns. Though. Yeah, everyone just trying to take a risk just because of the rounds. Big push here. Everyone in the right position. Damn, Team Secret are doing great in this. Nice plant, though, but. Okay, Brim gets ult as well. So now we go into an important buy run for Liquid. Ult is not here. Wait, we have double ult and then we have uh, one away from the raise ult as well. So yeah, this is looking crazy. Do something to the economy, but yeah, Borkum coming alive in this round, finding those initial picks, the molly placement, the timing of it, just ensuring that Safe had no way to play out the rest of the round. You could see right now how happy Warbirds is in the coaching booth. But here's, here's what the timeout was for. Okay. We also have, yes, Nat says, here's we're looking at Safe, we're looking at Let's Soulcast. look into what they what want to be doing. What is the approach now? Oh no. That kind of just sums it up, right? Unless that's meant to happen, but I don't think so. Some presence. <laughs> you can see, I mean, right Dude, now, from now we're just falling down to individual jewels. They at least know that they got A pressure for free, but holy hell, it looks like everything's out the window. Again, love what Team Secret have done onto this, but this is their anti KO setup. So, my worry for Liquid is they got over towards B and it was obviously an anti KO setup. Like, because they threw a knife here and they didn't hit the Cypher and then Cypher wasn't on site. And then now they get the Cypher, now they get the, the KO all into this round and they didn't expect the same setup. God, this is so good. This is really well considered from Secret. Plant's gonna come in, sure. But this has been the part that's been the problem. Okay, let's keep an eye on this retake. It's gonna be pretty good. Breach. Okay, they're gonna go aggro for it. So it's a good idea from them. Can they kill the breach of the brim? Holy hell. Yeah. They got they got the brim. But there were just too many people here ready for it. This is one of the most beautifully red rounds that I have seen this entire tournament, Lauren. Right now. Secret know exactly they, yeah, they literally just knew that Liquid were probably going to go aggro on them. They were just so ready for this. I am worried. Liquid should be worried. That was the round they, they Yep, they should definitely be worried. Big, Alts out the window as well now. With, they got nothing into this. So far ahead of it. Yeah, they, keep losing, they keep losing um they keep losing the rounds where they invest all the ults into it as well. And even potentially the aggression turning the flash so well. Dude, what a hero killing three here. Performance from the man. Yeah. It's gorgeous, and it was a three ult investment plus the weaponry there yes. from TL. There's four ults now available from the side of Secret, and Dubstep's the only one without it. You can get that Neural Theft so very quickly. Yep. Low buy going in. Out. Looks like, again, it's going to be the push up here into Dish. This Dubstep just watches. Tripwire will be destroyed by the paint oh, shells. This oh boy, what's this setup? Could be a good name. So much info right now. <laughs> oh, Plucks him out of the air. God. Yampi just gets taken out of the sky. Jesse Bash knows there's more now up there. Oh and my god. He did a jumping prowler for all of this as well. Thriving. Liquid just left in pieces. Jesse Bash. What do you reckon, chat? Another, like another timeout. Both used on your uh, he's attack it. again. They've got to know where he was. I'm pretty sure that prowler found it. Spamming it out. Oh, and at dear. this point, there's really nothing you can hope for if you're ready to make this a <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so brutal. To one now. Like, they're, they're actually we just full on disrespecting. That Icebox was just an isolated incident, that it was because of the yep. map pick yep. from Secret. But here they are again putting up similar numbers. And again, I'll spoil it for you as you guys watch the replays. Is Yampi just gets sniped out of the sky. Look at the last kill. Do they need to fall or something? Maybe. In the first half of the map. Yep, second timeout. Twice does this have to happen. And this is such a precarious and brutal spot to be pushed into. I'm just stumped at what we're seeing. And, and I think I think we gave them the kindness to wait for map two for, to, to see how Liquid looked. Sure. I, I guess it's, it's just how far into that rebuilding process are some of these teams because you have high expectations for some of the teams Suggest? I think mean, they can literally just go dish control, leave nuts there, and then go A. Keep it nice and simple. But again, it's like the the hard thing for them in terms of trying to get a read on a lot of this is so much has changed. Like, Team Secret have done a good job at changing everything. The only kind of two rounds that were back to back that kind of looked the same was um, the double anti KO setup, right?
This might work well though. They can take dish control, leave Nats there. I think this has to happen. Over, you know, just I don't even know. Do the four one with Astro solo. That's swearing. Nice change up from Team Secret again. Oh no, they're actually going to push the bomb side of the map for the Astro. They might do the perfect thing, chat. We're going for a tree hit. Rockier than you would want it to be. You expect that with these pieces put into this puzzle, it would be a lot cleaner. Ooh, Jeremy, There's your smoker gone. So they fall. They fall one with the smoker the when you have a cipher. Oh my. Yeah, and all the information they were trying to maybe make the best of the bad situation by springboarding towards the site, but the alt coming back in from Jesse Vash notes everything. They know exactly where they are. They've still kind of found where they are as well with the prowler to follow because that was dealt with. So, by all means, Team Secret once again, upper hand and map control. And sadly for Soulcast, a heat-seeking missile just found him instantaneously. Uh-oh. Rough position now. And that's nicely okay, played. timing, but yumpy has gone down as well. So, 3v4. Brimo is still up, but Brim is solo over towards the site. But still a disadvantage here for the side of TL. How do they play with this information? Orkham has been struggling towards tower, but he's never alone. Envy's there with him this time. He's been isolated a couple of times and pressured down by few. But now two players having to try and work it out. This time he holds the tower, sends them down. And that's near on impossible for anyone but him. A 1v4 though, this would be rolling back the years. That would. Expect anybody to be able to do it, it would be Can't Nats. It. Yeah, you can see in his face, there's nothing to be done. The spike a mile away. And it's a good question, Don Hatchie. It's a very good question. In this situation, you've used the neural theft, you would love to grab that orb, but you don't want them coming to rushing at you as soon as they have that audio cue as to where your location is. He knows that he needs to hold on to this gun. Uh -oh. And Secret know that they need to take it away from him. Fault line not going to connect. He finds one, but still so much more to deal with. And Bash well, will that's be no gun going fight. into this one. Nine to one. Again, no weapons full held. loss bonus, 2,900 on top of their like 100 that they have, is, so roughly around 3k ish. For a lot of fans who haven't been able to see this side on this level of stage in some time, this is going to mean the world to those fans who've been waiting to see what they look like with that opportunity. And most saw Liquid as that first game, and you know that's a that's a threatening scene, but perfect play coming out from them. Jesse Vash is doing wonders. Dubstep, safe pair of hands. You're not even needing really Jeremy Envy, who was on the highlights from map one. They can just chill in this. They don't yeah. need to be the headliners right now. Okay, let's go into this one. Well, there's still another let's see. Have to be played out. You have to expect that maybe right now, is maybe they can get the last ones, but again, it's looking rough. Nice change up again, but it's, so now we're going back into the now we're going back into the brimstone hold. And we're dealt with Shut down over towards Amy. Do they just the bash in their head Nuffy over towards B a lot? This might be a good chance. Yeah, no one able to make anything of that orbital strike either because as the smoke was still okay. CD. Five v three. On the swing, spots out. Three v three. Jeremy's found red car. One by one, liquid are falling. Soulcast, can you try and catch that cross? Oh, Nats is Nats is right still a saver into damage. these though. Okay, the well. Round in some time might be finally posted here. Dubstep, last one alive, and got a so long of a list of things to get through. First step could be towards tower. It's Yampy waiting. He's got a singer. He backs away from it. He's not looking. Now he swaps over the Vandal, reads it. Dubstep cannot course correct the aim there. So they managed to win a 50. They do double it up. Let's see if they can get 9 free. Nice entry from Yampi, but Nats was the absolute savior in terms of this one. They managed to get 50, and, and now they managed to get a full buy into this one. In terms of ult, Red Guard's one away, and there's going to be none on the defense. So this actually is a very good chance for them to get 9 3. Slim as it may be, they got to have something here. Yeah, even with Red Guard giving his life for the plant. He still meant to make it happen. Nats with this nasty lurk back over at B Lobby. He's coming up with those two kills. Really turns the tide of the round. And that's what we want to see from him. Currently at the top of the standings here for his squad. But Liquid, this round is critical. Redgar, only one away from the ult as well, so he could get that online here. Jeremy checked on first and foremostly, but no aggression off the back. I'm wondering if Yambi does eventually commit to this. Success on B has been fleeting. Perfectly read by Secret. The more cautious start. Seem to be leaning Heavy shut down over towards A again. Dude, and Just Liquid, ever around, since they got hats. shut down over towards A, they haven't even tried A main, really. Plotting, taking space, seeing what information they can garner, but Secret are playing so far back that they're not really gaining too much. Vash 
Sending out the prowler from Gent will find one. Dart so back over towards B. Minute. We're playing retake again. Keep an eye on this. This is Red Guards all that we're talking about. Three people in position. Well, four people in position. Keep an eye on the Rays. Rays has the satcheled over the trip. So definitely keep an eye on the Rays. Rays might have good timing going on towards this. There is a camera here, but it has to get checked to the right point. Dude, has to be good for one here at least. Hey, that's the smoker down the nightmare. As we say that, safe safe. Eliminated. Vash just finding him. The, 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 Dude, three, right now. And three yes, in heaven. Make yeah, gotta make, gotta make some kind of play. Nice from Yampi. Manages to get out as well. Double swing with a flash. Oh boy, this is strong. Has to push forward. I see done from Yampi. Good round from him. That was close, though. Yeah, that was real close. Nice round from Yampi. Okay, they managed to get three on attack, but damn. Nice half from Team Secret again. Just kind of, just kind of all over them in terms of the calling, if I'm honest. Like a, a lot of them, they were just shutting down wherever. Like they were keeping on top of everything so much. Like big shutdowns over towards A main, then left it, then they never really took it, so then they never had to use much util. Because every single time they were holding on to their util. They had a very good game plan going to the start of this. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm here, and I'm joined by Team Liquid Brazil's very own Daiki and the coach Palestra here with us, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here today. Uh, first and foremost, how does it feel to have a Valorant tournament with fans in Brazil? We had uh, uh, LCK uh, last year, and yes. it was amazing, but only Brazilian teams are, uh, were playing. Okay. So be here uh, with the other regions. It's have been amazing. Yeah, it's a wonderful experience. What about for you? It's something that I think the Brazilian community deserves to have like a big event like this. I agree. So it's nice to see that and we are hoping that we have more events like this. All right. Well, you know, Game Changers is, you know, well underway and we're going to, you know, hopefully see more Team Liquid Brazil continuing to kick all the butts out there. Are you excited about this yeah, season? Yeah, I'm not sure you can to? take down one player for that half, I'll be honest. Uh, it was team? just... Um, I, uh, I look... Uh, it was kind of just an overall to thing. a lot more than we won last year, so we, we, we are expecting to do better. Need pistol? Oh yeah, for work. sure. We got so many experience from last year from playing international then, and to know uh, people from the team, the team from the boys, yeah. from everyone that we talked with, some big guys in Brazil who helped us. Tech. Either, so it was like getting experience for the future to do better this year to get a better position to do better in the international events awesome well thank you we got a little bit of time left what do you want to say to the brazilian audience watching at home um liquids brazil and liquids playing now so liquids is known uh for their comebacks and i really trust them so that's it liquids brazil and Let's go. Let's, let's go, go, Liquid. Let's go, Liquid. Let's That's go. the atmosphere out here. The crowd obviously is cheering on Team Liquid. We might have yeah, the 9-3. Let's see if they can do it. Who knows? Gotta All have a pistol. I know is that either way, it's going to be a great time. Uh, it's a bit of both. Pansy like, Liquid are definitely videos, underperforming. Hey, Team Secret definitely look really good as well. It's just like a mix of both. Like, their util's been incredible. Always lovely, Jimmy. But yeah, definitely yeah, a good mix of the both chat. at the you moment. You don't get to be on a desk with him, so that's, that's nice. True. Yeah, you know, yeah. be on the opposite side, get, to, get thrown to rather than be sitting there doing the throwing. But uh, it's great. I like that we got that interview with those guys so that we could uh, give ball How rough is EU Midway's looking? If you consider this, very rough, yeah. Right but it is a 9-3 and three score line. <laughs> and this certainly not looking great. can be run back. We've seen yes. some crazy ones here. Do you believe in curses? That is the question. Okay, so this is nice from Team Secret as well. So you see a pinch over towards the top side of the map. Good so reaction from them. They're going to go fast. Redgar. Okay, they go for the rope crunch actually from both Why's sides. Redgar, so now it's just going to be the push oh coming in. Oh my goodness. They're, they're all here. Jer what? Crazy they're decision making. Down. Uh, and now I, they've got I, spawn control. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in agony watching this game. G four players trying to build this back in. Nats is already down to the finest of HPs. Oof. Good damage achieved. Dude, this is so hard. Yeah, what plan did they have? With him. Gonna have to oh, win yet. some jewels here. But three people being here. I didn't look at what the plan is. Maybe they have a chance with the plan. Out a corner of this site right now. Jesse Bash is gonna be eating that as oh NP. He gets tagged down low through the wall bank. Still manages to swing out for one. Yeah, good trade, but they are on the spike. Ooh. Shot and a half from Soulcats. 
And now just Jesse Bash trying to clutch it out for the time. Damn, okay, nicely done from Soulcast. Hit a lot of important shots there. That was great. And did the smoke to cover the spike there as well, so it was a good plant for them. I like the idea from Team Secret going into this area. Very good plant from them, but um yeah. Dude, good reaction from Team Secret here, but nice shots from Soulcast. Exactly as prescribed. They had to get this pistol. I honestly think they have to do some serious damage to not convert The stim pack with the frenzy running around the corner, that looked wild. It's fast. But I mean, it seemed like this should have been in the Yeah, nice round, round from Soulcast. And again, important smoke over towards the spike to enable that as well. So, do Team Secret decide to buy up? No, going over and looking at making sure that they have the best buy going to next round. Doing similar to what Liquid did in terms of stacking orbs over towards uh, the breach and the fade as well at the same time. So instead of kind of snowballing onto one person, they're just trying to make sure that they uh, get it evened out a little bit. In terms of Liquid, how are we playing? Heavy shutdown towards A main. Dude, it's actually kind of like a very similar approach from both teams. Okay, the idea was to punch with the scatter nade there. Set play there. That's narrowly avoided. Once you hit, so basically you hear the sound of them taking that suck scatternade. They get over towards Oh boy. How Oh boy. Dude, how many times is Nuts gonna have to clean up? Saving Liquid in this round. That was about to spiral out of control. Jeremy has recovered the Bulldog though. The King in his tower cannot be dethroned. Nats shoves them back one after the other. Low on HP Still, no well. matter what, such a good round from Team Secret in terms of damage. See, it, dude, if Nats doesn't get like all three of these, it's probably a different round. Hunting. At least two. Nats is so slippery as well. Such a slippery player in this. That readjust is perfect. And yes, low HP, but the audio cue should be there, and he's kept his life, which is so impairing. Nice round from Nats. Good cleanup from him. Gets an upgrade of the gun as well, so that's very important moving forwards. They have some good guns into this liquid, so we're going to pretty much see a full buy, right? I'm pretty sure these two are actually going to buy on top of this. It'll be interesting. What are we going to do? We're going to go for a bonus, looking like a bonus. But yeah, very good guns for this bonus. So. Damn, Nats was just a savior. Absolute savior on this one. Can't express it enough. Continues to lurk the tower. Very much feels at home in it. 4K for him to really fast track that. Mural Theft now just one charge away from it. As he continues to dominate the scoreboard. Yeah, I, he is a Okay, bonus in terms of damn, that's a nice hit. Bonus in terms of liquid. Nice fast take. Four person here. We're just going to exit all just from. Oh, damn, we're exiting all just from dish. This could work out pretty well. And they managed to save the breach or as well into this. Important jewel for Redguard to win. What gun has Redguard got? Oh, boy. He's the he's first contact and he's got a sheriff. Nice decision from safe. Decided to push over towards arcade. This might work out well. Nats gets the ult. There's Damn, they still put... Right dude, they're so crazy with their ults. He's not far behind. He's still sat towards CT. 3v5, put the ult into it. 3v4, important duel coming up. Bonus one from Team Liquid. Okay. Back in the game, full okay. Dyke was saying she believed in the comeback. Maybe she was right. Really good round from them. Four people alive as well. Good decision from Safe to push over while that was happening. Uh, important duel from Nats, to be honest, as well, in heaven. Yeah, when that happened as well, that's just full info. That duel kind of decided a lot because I think the lineup was there, so it might have been two. Just isn't prepared for two players to be waiting Okay, they can upgrade ramp. as well. So there are two people that could upgrade the guns, maybe even three, I think it was if we include the Bulldogs. So a lot of upgrades for Team Liquid and low low buy coming in for secret. So back on. Dude, why is it always like this? You're not wrong. You're absolutely on the money. Um and hey, if if the way back in for Liquid is that Nats has a game like this, it's dude, Nats is twenty one and ten, and it's nine six. Loving it. It is a treat, right? It feels like we've missed seeing you know this caliber of player, an individual who is second to none at his role. Great to see it back on the big stage. On the other side, we're looking at see what damage they can achieve. All orbs to be farmed. Any discrepancies that can be checked on. Yampi needs to play this card. Oh, that was really nice. 
happy to take the fight knowing that the smoke was in place. He actually got the push to the side oh, there. Damn, this looks so much better now. And then they get nice the reveal. Setups. Jeremy struck down. Yampi has like his ult, so maybe he can relax and let someone ego. else kind of maybe not make a next play. Yeah, plays passive. Secret. As I say that, Envy just continues to do God's work for a secret. Great headshot from him. But this should still be Liquid getting themselves up to seven. That's Saw the hat. Patience right now. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. I'll just hold <laughs> nice position for him. Hats. Shorty out as well, just in case it's decides to follow up. Free no bullets. To sites. The acronym that looks quite true right now. Not allowing any. You're a crazy oh, guy. <laughs> You're a crazy guy. Flies in there with the shorty. He wants Liquid back in this game, and they are now on the verge. Another <laughs> round of purchases. Another one for Twiston. Another Enjoy. This and I mean, if your secret. Even though that's you on an eco, that is not the level of confidence you want to see from that. Okay, now we're going to an important full buy. And as we can see, Yampi all and no, no. they're one away from a Razor. So we might have a double Razor into this round. Keep an eye on it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chad, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be so crazy. Uh, we see a, well, it's a 10 person jeweler, the top side of the map. Yeah, here's the push, and this could be huge. Oh this my god, this all could be worth so side. many. Oh my what? goodness. Okay. Oh, come on. What is, gets two on the back end. what is this? Nats is still here, though. Showstopper out. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> what is this round? Uh oh. Oh no, Solcas. Solcas forced forward toward him. Envy. So very far away. Now Solcas has control of the spike. Okay. He's wary about a push from behind, though, so he's pulling back. So over while this was all going on, Envy took the rope back, but no one else did. Damn, he secures it. This guy has Keep been kind of incredible for this team. In this game, there's no Massive round. Now for Liquid. It gets halted, but Dude, that was wild. That it was a 10 person duel. Until the breach, yeah, in, until the breach failed, it was literally 10 person. Chaos and pandemonium. Yeah, that was madness. And obviously, Yambi had no way of knowing. Had he just gone no. to the close angle, he would have been able to kill three people. Sure, sure. He goes to the measured play, takes down one, gets tagged up, though, so the boom bot eliminates, and Borkum is good for two in the return fire. Very concerning, though, at the end there. In being a bit like in the What's the money like, Chad? I did not check that. Liquid should be faster, fine. But crucially, he uh, gets it. It's in. getting a little bit low. They've got one more buy in them after this for sure. Probably going to be able to do two in a row, but that would give them 12. So that's not what you want to see. Uh, Brim all up and one away from attack fade ult. So that's the Brim ult with a stun. As we can see, no one in towards heaven playing full retake at the moment. Prowler goes in. At least takes the trip away. So they get onto sight. Keep an eye on the two person flank behind. Is, is Fatal, and perfectly. they should be pushing with that, or you at least expect them to push with that. Okay, so what they don't, they don't push with it, basically, it was yeah, literally just a Fatal to create the pressure like they were going to push so they could get a good plant and just make sure they have good after plants. So, I like that idea. Now it turns into a 5 on 5 retake. Everything needs to be really on point, but Nats gets spotted as he tries to make his way into the cyber cage. That tiny little gap does him dirty. But the good stun comes through. Jeremy ends up falling. Dubstep now watching as well. Finds the Ooh. kills, and it's the veterans finding two for themselves, and the rookie getting another. Soulcast feeling like a lifetime away. That's the shot he was looking for in that prior round. This time hits get. it. But yeah, he has to back away. Respect yeah. the damage that has been Not done. Not good money, at least on him. Everyone can buy on top of this, so. Wonderful trades, making sure they're the loss bonus is going to be. Um, All of that invested just to where clear we are, two four. Nats was around. Good reposition from him, but the retake just never quite had that spark to so it. So yeah, going to see a full buy into this, but this is like their last chance, really. Investment early, just trying to find that was going to cost them the round in the end. But this is helpful. I mean, they, they play it out beautifully. And that's unfortunately just leaving that one foot gap between that brim smoke and his cyber cage. Ends up getting caught and just given the way that he's performing, you need to have him alive in these retakes. You absolutely do. He is essential to outcome. Liquid need him. Alive Massive round. Well. This decides a lot. Right, if Liquid lose this, low buy for the last one. Could be brutal. Breach all and then double cypher all. Keep an eye on safe. Safe is one away from his KO all. Knife goes in, so that might be the orb for KO. Let's keep an eye on this. Yep, KO all online, so that's going to help a lot. Team Secret playing very far back, just passive, just waiting. Again, we've had a, a few aggro rounds from Liquid, so they're kind of just waiting for it to go down. Now, okay, but he can't Wait, Yumpy's just, just stuck oh, here. 
He's just stuck on his own on the pass. Beautifully responded to here from the side of Secret. Yampi needed to hit that headshot immediately. And that needs to somehow keep his composure. He's got players flooding in nice there. Right center. Only good for one. Can't do much more. Red guard. And the trades balls. are just in from and Team Secret. The and they have a pass and hiding behind as well. Oh boy. Five chances and low buy coming out for Liquid in terms of this one. It's going to be a real weird force buy. We might see a lot of light armors. We might see some Bulldogs. start of the Omega bracket as well. You're right, Nats needed to be able to be steadfast in that position. He's oh good my for goodness. one, but unfortunately he is overwhelmed. That feels that. That feels like the nail the in the coffin, there. that one. Warbirds only having having recently met this team to get to work with them. To this extent. And to, to put this together is looking fantastic. They have ults. They they have what they need. The money, yes, lacking in some areas. Five person Guardian, sure. on the top but side of the map. Four the person. Slow so dish control. Dude, they have, an, they have a nice amount of uh, rounds. Every single ounce of what they're worth. So, yeah, we're going for their so exec over, to, over from dish as well. This seems to be what they do when they have breach. They have to be feeling sky high in this. Redgar is about to feel irrelevant to this round. Clear towards the site, the boom bot to come in, the smoke goes in, they don't stop them. Jeremy's already on the site, but look at the pushed up position. Yes, they Yeah, they managed to avoid all of the U2 and control, then they they when they jump out, CT. no one spotted, so then they breach all to spawn and push all the way. Safe has a KO. Some stunned op. individuals. He does not still find a kill, but gets what traded the? very quickly there by Safe. Can now grab that rifle if he wants Oh boy, pinch is coming in. Oh, oh boy, the pinch and the swing is just too much. Safe and that's this might be too much for them. Now to get to one. It's feeling like it's over. It feels like they're falling at the wayside. Safe Damn. now. Holy oh hell. Words. They actually dominated them. I can't believe they've broken liquid like this. Map one we wrote off. We doubted the capability. And we were wrong. It carried into map two. And they ran through Team Liquid. Yeah. Absolutely they actually ran through them. 